Today also marks the first day back to school for more students in our community. It's a list here on the chalkboard. We're talking about Ajo, Catalina Foothills, Marana, Saudita, and Santa Cruz Valley Unified School Districts. Yeah, let's zero in on uh, what students can expect as their first day of class comes closer. Uh, Brooke Chow is live for us this morning at Esperero Canyon Middle School. Good morning, Claire. I'm in your district, the district you grew up in, the Catalina Foothills School District. We're kicking off the first day of school right here at Esperero Canyon Middle School. We're just about 500 students are going to be starting school today at 7.30 a.m., kicking off the first day on a Monday. Take a look at your screen. I was able to visit the school last week where students were able to pick up their schedules, get their lockers, and, of course, reunite with their friends after summer break. Now, during that time, I also got to sit down with the principal who's celebrating 14 years here at Esperro today. We talked about the new school year and what she wants parents to know ahead of the first day. And I want to say the parents uh, are our best partners and reach out parents if you need anything from us. No question is, you know, to is no question is irrelevant. We want to be here for you. Yeah. Now, over the summer, Esperero was actually under construction, and they added and updated some security cameras and gates around the campus. Something really important that the principal mentioned to me is that middle school is the first time a lot of these students are going to get a taste of independence and also some responsibility. So, of course, here at Esperero Canyon, they really hope that that transition is smooth for both students and families. Like I said, 7.30 a.m., that bell's going to ring for the first time since summer break. Now, something that I want to mention to you, something that you can keep in mind this morning as you head out the door, is Esperero Canyon is right across from Sabino Canyon. So if this was part of your early morning summer routine, just be aware of that. Maybe go later in the afternoon or later in the evening because it's already getting a little hot out here. So just expect this road right here to be packed. Right now there's not a lot of people, but students will soon be arriving, and I hope we can get them on camera and get a first look at them arriving for the first day of school. So for now, go Eagles, and I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, let's hope they have water bottles handy with them if Brooke's saying uh, the temperature is going to, you know, get to them a little it's bit, but hopefully hot. they're staying pretty cool. Yeah, thank you, Brooke.